Alrighty, giving you a little taste of what I'm doing here. I'm uh, putting in some Spax bolts to reinforce uh, the floors in here. Let me pull one out for you here so you can see. It is a big, bad half inch by five inch bolt. There you go. Um, <clears throat> they say no pre-drilling. See, so you can see that sticker here. No pre-drilling. Well, that might be the case in pine, which actually it is because I used them in this beam that goes down the length of the basement. However, in the old native timber over here, it, uh, <laughs> yeah, they just kind of sit there and spin and don't do anything. So basically what I'm doing here is every choice, in addition to nailing, I'm putting in these big honking bolts just to try and tie everything together. Like that right in there. But it's a kind of a pain to do. Yes, the wood is that hard. I'm actually using a, uh, uh, which I'm gonna call it a um, hammer drill, and not just one of the wimpy ones, but a real one here, uh, to drive them. It is actually that hard. Let's say I've got a uh, an adapter to go between the SDS and the regular chuck there, and uh, yeah, it is actually that hard driving the. Uh, driving them in there, but actually this DeWalt DC-12 does a pretty nice job of it. My one gripe, and one of the main reasons I bought this sucker, was I wanted a handheld chisel that I could use for chipping off plaster. And uh, I'm pretty sure I read that the 36 volt version, when I was reading the specs in the 36 volt version, it has a separate chip section or chip uh, setting however the 18 volt does not I didn't really want to buy a 36 because I've got a crap ton of 18 volt stuff as you've seen from my other videos which I'm pretty annoyed that it does not have that but I've got a lot of tap cons and other stuff to put in here and around the farm and for uh, for this uh, you know it really does make it a hell of a lot easier to uh, to use this I'm just annoyed that it doesn't have the uh, chip function, which I uh, really had uh, wanted it for, because I've got a lot of plaster to take down. Uh, well, not a lot, but I've got uh, enough plaster to take down. That would have really made things easy, but sadly, it uh, does not work like that. I am happy, however, it uh, it's uh, set up for the new lithium ion packs. As you can see, it's shorter there, to where it uh, will take the uh, the new lithium ion packs and uh, yeah, there's the uh, impact wrench over there. So what I've been doing is just going along with this, drilling into the oak, coming along with the big ass half inch impact, and driving them. Let me uh, pop in my earplugs here, and I will demonstrate. It's a uh, Fairly slow going, and I'm doing this in addition to using the, um, in addition to nails, which by the way, a pass load, the new pass load nailer will actually drive them into that oak. There we go. Oh, helps if you spin it the right way. Well, there we go. We just put in one Spax bolt. So that's pretty much what I've got to do along here. Zoom along that wall. And over there, I got all those in. Now I just need to go back and make sure I put four nails in between each joist. So I'm trying to get that done. The uh, mason called, and they're going to be out tomorrow morning. And they're going to put the... Uh, Oh, finish backfilling the rest of this. And uh, I'm going to try and put a little bit of plywood down in here tonight, I think. Um, Jake is uh, coming out to help me tonight, so I haven't decided yet if I'm going to try and put at least over to this floor joist here, the plywood down, or if we'll work upstairs. I haven't quite decided yet. but uh, So that's kind of where we are now. 